motivation to keep training through adversity. Failure will happen to you as a runner. I have experienced so much failure, perceived failure in my mind, but in retrospect, looking back over years and years of challenges, both on and off the track, the cross country course, uh, in the rehab room, in the doctor's office, wherever it might, heck, in, in the classroom. You know, I was not a straight A student in college or in high school even, but we rise up. Just like today, you might be watching this at 5 a.m. Mountain Time when this vlog, daily vlog publishes every single day and the day rises again, the day starts again. We're able to pick ourselves back up no matter how many perceived failures we may have encountered within our previous training block or within the previous two to three years of training. If you have a long history of injuries, like frankly, I kind of do. And so through this motivation vlog to keep training, keep running, keep lifting, keep stretching, keep getting in the pool for that cross training. Through this vlog, I simply want to communicate, especially to the young folks out there, because I know the veterans that are watching this channel, forgot that was on, I know the veterans watching this channel have failed. I know you have, because guess what? That's part of being a human being on this earth, right? We are bound, to, we, are, we are destined to fail, frankly, in many different ways, whether little or, or big. But through this adversity in life, and yes, in training, it's an opportunity not to fall backward, to fall forward. If you trip, if you uh, increase your, your intensity too quickly and you get injured, it's an opportunity to learn from that failure, that perceived failure in your mind in the moment, to fall forward, to learn from the mistake, and to pick yourself up and to get going again. And because we are endurance athletes, every perceived failed training block where you end up not hitting a PR or injured, or maybe you don't make the varsity team so you can't uh, run at the state meet, Every failed, uh, perceived failure in, in, in endurance sports is simply a bank deposit into your long-term aerobic development. It's amazing, and it's, it's compound interest. The more consistent, and we talked about this yesterday, the more consistent we are in our aerobic development, the more benefit we're gonna get over the long haul because we are runners. It's, an, it's, a, it's amazing. So like in, in my training block right now, this injury is a, it was in the moment definitely for that, you know, 12 hour morning period right after I had to put myself on crutches, I, I, I remembered, wait a minute, I just knocked out an incredible training block and this is simply a bank deposit into long term aerobic development. Oh, gosh. It's, you, we cannot forget this. And everyone watching this daily vlog, I know you have the guts to chase down your, your dreams, but do you have the guts to fail? Because I'm telling you, more often, and again, you don't, know, you don't always wanna fail. That's not good. That means your, your, your goals or your dreams maybe are not rooted in reality. So it's, it's, a, it's a balance, it's, it's walking that line as I'm always talking about, but I'm telling you, use, those, use failure as fuel to chase down that next little failure because little failures lead to big successes long-term. And that's the beauty of this sport that we do, it's insane. And through these failures, don't be disheartened by other people's opinions. People will judge you. They will judge you for wearing short shorts. I know I get it all the time. They will judge you for waking up at 4.30 in the morning to go out and run in freezing temperatures when everyone else is in their warm beds asleep. Don't be afraid of other people's opinions. I learned that a long time ago. We runners, we are weird. We are strange. We do things that other people don't like to do. We embrace the pain and I'm just, keep embracing it. Keep embracing those strange looks on those long runs. Uh, push yourself to points of 
physical uh, pain that others will might look down upon. Now, I'm not saying don't listen to uh, wisdom from your parents or wisdom from an elder or a coach or what have you, but uh, embrace those weird looks and those short shorts. I know you get those weird looks too. I get them all the time. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself so much that other people are gonna say, wait a minute, whoa, what are you doing running at 4.30 a.m. in negative 10 degree weather, okay? It's gonna have, like, if you wanna reach goals, you're gonna have to go outside of your comfort zone and frankly, the perceived comfort zone of many other people. Uh, I, I, my brother in high school, man, he would train, he trained so hard and ended up running, I think 9.05 at Arcadia, was 10th at Foot Locker, he was, I mean, people looked at him training in high school like he was a crazy man. Like, he would go to, he would train in the morning, I don't know, I'm guessing like 5.30, 6 a.m., freezing temperatures at 8,000 feet above sea level, and he trained all winter, and then after school, what did he do? He went to basketball practice. That's right, he was, tra he was training twice a day, and sure enough, it paid off for him. So, I'm telling you, just embrace the strange looks the weird thoughts, like people, they're just, they don't understand what us runners are fueled by. And thankfully, we have found something as runners that hopefully we can share with others um, and, 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 and invite them into this crazy sport that is painful, is is awkward at times, meaning we're, we're doing weird things. Like it's just, it's weird. People look at you weird, but is the most rewarding sport out there on the planet. I'm just gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it right now. So keyword, failure. Don't be afraid to fail. And question of the day, how have you failed and how have you overcome that failure in your training, in your racing, and frankly, heck, if you want to open, open it up to life in general, that's okay too. Thank you for watching. I know this is a little bit of a harder topic, but I think it's good to, again, embrace the failure. Don't always fail, but use that failure as fuel for the future. All right, that's it, folks. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, a little bit of failure. A little bit. A little bit. I didn't race Cleveland. Okay, I didn't race it. That's a little bit of a failure. That was a peak race. But I, I'm learning and I'm on the way back. I'm on the way back. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.